Talking a little bit about uh, speed in space and resistance of an object that's, that's orbiting around a central object. The hypothesis that Hannah has brought forward is that microgravity will create less resistance against the object in motion and so it will travel faster and farther than it would in gravity. I'm really interested in mechanics and how things work, like gears and stuff. Mathematically, I like trying to look at things that people build. Well, how the heck does that work? We work a lot of times with kind of giving them a set of materials to use, and then you have to either build an earthquake safe house or you have to come up with an experiment. And I thought this was great because it had real world applications. You just had to do something on Earth and in space and compare it and see what changed and what didn't change. I had gotten an email that said, call us to this number, one of your students has won. I was in musical. So when I pulled her out, and she said, I just got a call from NASA, they picked your experiment. It was April Fool's Day, so I actually thought Msay was telling me an April Fool's joke. I didn't believe it at all. I think she was thinking like, I forgot to do something. All these contests to me are kind of, there's so many people entering and there's just such a slim chance of me, me actually getting it. In Hannah's experiment, uh, she actually had the object orbiting uh, ar around in a plane that was just above the floor. Since we have no gravity, any of the, of the four walls in the space station could be used as the floor. It's just kind of mind-boggling. He's in space. He's floating in the air. Get ready on the timers. Three, two, one, mark. Okay, you can see it in orbit. There's one. You can see the uh, eraser orbiting the uh, orbiting the pen. Not really any effect of gravity, but you can see the, the. It's the same thing. It's basically my idea in space. Well, it is my idea in space, and it's just so exciting. I felt like it really looked like the one that I constructed here. In this case, we're going to use dental floss. I all. used a pen and a string and what turned out to be the eraser. I pulled the tape measure out and I made it hit the eraser. The eraser would go around. Two. And I would time it and then measure how far it went. And then I would figure out the speed from there. I was wondering, well, if there's no gravity in space, then there's no actual weight to affect it. It's really kind of fun to have, have, see her work through that process and to kind of change different things along the way. Some teachers would have said, oh great, you won. Miss A really took it to the end and she's still, you know, emailing them, trying to figure out the length of the string and stuff. I went to school as a biochemist and my background actually is doing research with cancer. So I consider myself a science teacher and a scientist and I either take classes or actually do my own science or sometimes play with experiments before they do it or after they do it or with them. I'm not just teaching something, I'm also kind of living it with them and so I, I love that real science can be done in middle school. Never in a million years did I think that my project would actually go up into space. Some subjects People always say, well, when are you going to use this in the world? The stuff that we learn in science really happens. Thanks to the Hamlin School and all the uh, teachers there, and thanks a lot for joining us aboard the ISS.